Honorable Chief Minister Sri Vyas Jagan Mohan Reddy Garu, respected dignitaries on the stage, teachers, parents and students, the leaders of the society and fans who have come to see the leader, I wish you all a very good afternoon. I am Navya Shri and I am currently pursuing my B.Tech from Vishnu Institute of Technology, Bhimvaram with the help of JVD scheme. Respected sir, as I stand on this stage, I proudly I can say a quote which was once said by Nelson Mandela that education is the only weapon which can change the future. But sir, though the youth has the power, we need right opportunities and right time to prove that we have the opportunities. And firstly sir, we thank you so much for improving our higher education norms and for making our education innovative, creative and enjoyable. When I was at my college, my seniors have told me that right from the beginning of the first year itself, we are going to have internship programs so that we will be exposed to a realistic corporate job so that we will also have a hands-on experience of what true education is. With the flexible curriculum you have introduced, we are able to become global graduates. We can also compete with top-notch universities like Harvard and Massachusetts, which means we are no less than any world-class institute. That's an honor for all the students here. And apart from this, every student of AP, right from his KG to PG, can pursue their higher education irrespective of their backgrounds, irrespective of their genders, which means the youth of Andhra Pradesh is now empowered with true leader and his views and visionaries. It is in our hands to utilize every opportunity that comes and pave our way for success. And so, as I stand on this stage, I would like to make a moment to talk about women empowerment. Because in a normal Indian household, it has become a norm and a tradition to let the girl child provoke and marry at an early age so that her family doesn't have to care about her academic expenses. But true leaders like you believe it that when we educate a woman, we not only educate her and her family, but we educate and transform a generation with her education. This means you have a vision for all the women here. And so it's a promise for, from all the women beneficiaries here that we will make these lines come true. Apart from this, as we look at ourselves as the leaders with discipline and responsibility, it is a helpful thing for us introducing community service schemes. With these community service schemes, we are becoming more responsible towards our society. We will become great leaders with a vision like our true leader. Isn't it or not? And yes, we will become true leaders. And sir, it's a promise from all the people here, all the beneficiaries here, that we will become global graduates and strong leaders like you with a true vision in our heads and hands. And sir, on this day, I would like to thank you and express my gratitude on behalf of all the beneficiaries here because you have a great vision for our state education. We will not only see graduates, but we will see skilled and employable graduates because skilled and employable graduates is not a simple thing. It's a great thing for people in Andhra. And sir, it's an honor for me to share the stage with you today. I thank each and everyone for making me stand on this stage. Before I leave, I'd like to make a mark with a quote. I just remember a quote from an advertisement which goes like this. Baki bakwas, bujgaya pyas, baki bakwas. Which means we are under the governance of a true leader who has got a vision. He is empowered and he will empower us. Thank you so much, sir, for becoming the CM of this state. It's an honor for us to see you on stage. We pray for you, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Amma.